today I am going off on a tour to Anchor Wat. I'm being picked up at 7.40am. So I thought I'd come down and have my breakfast and wait for my tour guide. It's an all day tour. And I think they'll go to three or four different temples, Anchor Wat being the main one. A lot of them do a sunrise or a sunset tour. But at the moment, it is actually low season, so there is no sunrise and there is no sunset. So unfortunately, this time, we won't be seeing any of those. And three main reasons that we'll be anchored way west. One is Vishnu Temple. So Vishnu love west. Shiva love east. All the temples we build are way with the four different elements. Sorry, uh, the, uh, the four different gate or entrance. We build four different elements. The three tower of Angkor Wat, yeah, that I would say G O D. Angkor Wat is absolutely incredible. It's the biggest religious monument in the world. It was originally built in the 12th century as a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu, but later on it became a Buddhist site. You can find it in Siem Reap and the architecture is truly mind-blowing. The central tower is surrounded by four smaller ones representing Mount Miru from Hindu mythology. The carvings are brilliantly detailed. The temple is really well preserved and still used for worship today. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and draws millions of tourists every year. Honestly, if you ever get the chance, it really is a bucket list visit. From here, it's one of the best places to take a photograph. And on a day where there's not so much wind, you can see a really good reflection from the lake. Unfortunately, there's a little bit too much wind today. So Ramayana story, the battles of Lanka city. Lanka, right now we call Sri Lanka, just like island. The power by the bad guy is named Ravana. So Ravana, the bad guy, the god of demons and power at Lanka city, that now we call Sri Lanka, just like island. And then fighting again with the good guy called Rama. The story is Sita, she was born in the royal family. She's a beautiful girl. So one day when Sita grown up, she a beautiful girl that a lot of guys fall in love with. So one day, parents very happy to ask her, uh, sorry, uh, to you know, like uh, to choose perfect husband for Sita by lifting up an arrow. So all the guys come to join. They warm up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Nobody could lifting up except one guy. His name Rama. So Rama, because Rama one of the ten which got reincarnation. So he got power from the Vishnu guy. That's why he could lifting up. So Rama and Sita became husband. But one day the bad guy Ravana kidnapped Sita back to the island. That's why Rama very angry with that. He asked monkey god Hanuman, Man. Hanuman, can you please collect all the monkey groups support us and build a bridge from the mainland to the island and fight it again with, with the bad guy to sail to get my wife back, you know. That's why the battle called the, the Battle of Lanka City. You can see the demon support the bad guy. Monkey support the good guy. Now we've just passed through into the main temple area. So this is the part which is known as the earth. So the earth can't see to the underworld. That is why the wall behind me is blocked off. Whereas when we go through to the next part, it's open. Heaven can see down to earth, the all-seeing eye. So four, two right here, two that side. Four, I mean four different elements. Water, fire, wind, earth. If you are Christian, when you see the cross, how you tell? A Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay. Right now I'm stood in the middle, which is like the belly button. And around the outside, there are the four elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, which are necessities for life. Right here is the center of Angkor Wat.
So the 12th staircase, it means 12 months a year, Jan, December. And all the 12th staircase, only one have been used, the one right there. So that easier for the king up and down to get holy water from the God who's Oh my word. Okay, now likey. <laughs> wow, this is thick. Oh my life. Don't look, don't look. I'm turning you off guys, it's getting high. Wow. A little bit out of breath. <laughs> But at least there's a breeze up here. But the view is really worth it. Do you want to have a look? Okay. This is the level where there is no block. So the pillars going down, there's no block because up in heaven, God can see everything. And that's why all the pillars are open because he can see the whole of earth. so worth visiting this. It's on a whole different level. You can see what the stairs were like before they put the ones in for the tourists. But even so, they're still extremely steep. There are 37 steps going up and 32 steps coming down. That's because it is harder to ascend to heaven than it is to descend into the underworld which is very similar to bath cathedral if you saw my video when i visited bath on the outside of the cathedral there is more stairs going up on the ladder to heaven than there is on the descent going down to hell They are so skinny, they don't worry, you know, suffering because this one hell or underworld. And this one world heaven. So world heaven look quite similar together. Up to heaven, 37 step, down 32 step. So good and bad, they are quite. They all win quite. They want to control the universe. That is a story. <laughs> you like it? <coughs> okay, okay. There are lots of dragonflies here and evidently they help tell the weather. So the higher they fly, the more chance that there is of rain. The lower they fly, it's going to be really hot and sunny because if they fly low when it's going to rain, then they might get killed and squashed against the ground. Who knew? So the king used to come up here to here and then to the temple up through there. The steps just here, these are for the generals and the other people to enter into the temple. This one here, it has no stairs. That's because the king used to arrive by elephant and it's higher with no stairs because it's easier for the elephant to come close and the king to enter the temple. So lucky with the weather today. Touch wood. I'm really enjoying it. Our guide is very, very good, telling us lots of information. That concludes the Angkor Wat part of this tour. Now we're going to walk about 10 minutes back to the van and then it's not far to our lunch spot and we'll stop for one hour for lunch before headed to the next temple. Just want to jump in here as well and say, if you haven't subscribed to Nam with a Backpack just yet, there's a button just below. You can click on it and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, but it means the world to me. So 
go on, you know you want to. Subscribe to Nan with a Backpack. Why not? The three flags over here, the blue one is for the king. The red and blue one with the temples on it, that's the national flag. And the colourful flag is for Buddhism. This is our stop for lunch. Now we've just come down to temple number two, which is the one that was featured in the film Tomb Raider. And we've been told to make sure that we put plenty of mosquito repellent on because it's quite jungle-fied in there. And also we've got our rain max because it looks like it might rain, unfortunately. Because when someone who got dengue, malaria, we have to use this one. Because this one very strong beater. So when someone who got dengue, malaria, they don't want to drink or eat anything. It's just for the sleep. That's why temperature high and higher. So queen it, sorry, uh, yeah, this one very strong beater. So when we drink, five, ten minutes later, we all sweat. And then we need to put in the coconut juice because coconut juice also very quick cooling down. So before you leak, you don't want to drink. But after you leak, you need to drink. That's why that's the way cooling down. <laughs> Just lick. Yeah, from your hand. Yeah, something like that. No? It worked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you feel? Can you tell? Okay. Yeah, definitely. You want a little. <laughs> no? I have no water. That was not good. It was really, really bitter to the taste. And I just suddenly had a burning urge to drink water. <laughs> It is so hot and now I'm so thirsty because I licked the end of that herb. <laughs> Why is it me that always wants to try everything and do everything and then gets myself in a pickle? That's because I'm now with the backpack. I've actually never seen the film Tomb Raider. So now I kind of think that maybe I ought to watch it. <laughs> wow, look at that. And I appear to have lost my group for the second time today, but they are running round all the temples. <laughs> yeah, Pranya Baramaida, I mean the perfect wisdom like a good knowledge, no? And on the whole, some used to be the way how to carry, the way how to live, or, you know, transport when they build a temple, and some used to be a big, big diamond. Wow, this is amazing, but I do feel like we're sprinting through, not able to take any photographs or really see and take it in. Such a shame we can't spend longer here. I could spend a good few hours just walking around looking at it all. Wow, that was amazing, but I do feel like we've just been pulled round at a rate of knots, to be honest. I kind of think that there was so much more to see, and we just were running through it, photograph and move on, which is a little bit sad. It's been a long time since I've done something where I felt that rushed round a temple. I could have definitely spent 
a lot longer looking round. I don't want to go. Yay, I was prepared. <laughs> so right here we do have uh, 12 different towers. It means 12 months a year, Jan, December. This is the final stop before the sunset, which I'm not sure we're going to see. So on my left here is the pyre where the royal family get cremated. And on the other side there is the elephant temple where they used it for games and things like that. At the bottom here you can see all the different sports. And now we're headed through here. This is so special. So the cremating happens over there. This used to be the stadium there and there used to be a big cover over the top. You can see here that the toes are missing and the fingers are missing as well, which is the sign of leprosy. And this is the leper king. Right on the very top there, there is the lotus and underneath there are the three-headed elephants. This is the last one, which is the five-headed horse. So this part that we're stood in right now is like the backstage where all the performers wait to go on stage and then they climb up those stairs and perform up there. So this is the backstage and then the stairs up. Wow, this is the first level, these are the stairs. Goodness me. Those are some of the stairs to get to the top. And I'm afraid I just don't have the strength. <laughs> so walking around here is about my limit, but it's very beautiful. It's one good thing about coming in the low season is there's hardly anybody here. You kind of get the whole place to yourself, which is really nice, but the humidity is on another level. I'm glistening. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a sunset tonight. What do you reckon? This temple in front of us is amazing. One day is definitely not enough here. There is so much to see. You definitely get a different perspective of this in the rain. <laughs> At least we've all cooled down a bit. I'm quite glad it's rained really. Because I'm no longer sweaty, wet. I'm just wet, wet. <laughs> oh dear. No clear skies, no sunset. Say la vie. I'm going to end the vlog where I started it this morning. I am exhausted. I am wet. I need a shower. But wow, what a wonderful day. It's a shame we didn't get the sunset. But I'm so glad that I've been. I did feel rushed at a few points. Um, 
but I think what was happening is he was trying to push us through before the weather came in so we didn't get too wet. But on the whole, I have to say it was a brilliant day. And I think really and truly, one day probably isn't enough. You need to really be thinking about doing two or three days to make the most of it, I think. So maybe when I come back, I'm going to go again. And on that note, I am going to head upstairs and go and have a shower and put my jammies on and go to sleep because I'm really tired. Nanai, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.